So the situation with this young man um, drowning in Atlanta during Pride is getting a little bit outrageous. Um, it's getting a little bit too much, and it's getting me to the point where when stuff like this happens, I'd rather just not even talk about it. But you know what? Yes, I will. Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm going to always speak and say stuff. Like, I'm, I'm getting so sick of people coming in. Well, you need to get the facts right. You need to get this right. You need to get this right. You need to make sure you know this and make sure you know this. I never said that the shit was 100. I never did say I know everything. I'm telling you all what I've heard and what we can sit up here and separate from the bullshit and tell what actually makes sense what could have happened. Nobody knows what happened, but we know someone is dead and someone is no here, so therefore we need to get to the truth. It's not been on any news. No news stations have reported it. Nobody has talked about it. I'm probably the only vlogger who has talked about it on YouTube. Nobody else has said shit. Nobody has got in front of the camera and said any goddamn thing. All you got is a couple of Facebook statuses and everything. And I'm not blaming it, folks, because this is probably the reason why. It's the And this is why I really don't. I love the fact that I have a large number of following with black women, okay? Not saying them the only, because... These other motherfuckers, the gays, when y'all come in motherfucking shit, y'all just go off and you don't know how to talk to a motherfucker. And that's why I've been reading the fuck out of some of y'all ass and roasting the dog shit out of you and blocking y'all ass. You're not finna come on my on my YouTube channel and talk crazy to me, bitch. This is your first time, honey. You better get into the shit. You better get into it. You ain't finna talk crazy to me on my goddamn shit. I don't give a fuck who friend you are. I don't know who I don't give a damn who the fuck you are. You'll get cussed out like any old regular ass bitch. So with that being said. My video did circle around town and people talking about it. That's what I want. I want everybody to talk about it because I want somebody to tell us what happened and I want somebody to come forward and talk to the police. I want somebody to explain to the police what happened because it does not make sense that a 20-year-old man died around so many young people. So around so many people, period. Not young people, but around people, period. It doesn't make any sense. I'm not understanding it at all. And somebody commented and said, you can drown in a gulp of water, gulp of water. You can drown in a teaspoon of water. The definition of drown means submerged in water, die by suffocation. That means that you hold it. I'm, for some reason, I'm underwater and I cannot breathe. I don't know where you all get. I'm so tired of the goddamn fact checkers with this stupid ass bullshit. You can drown in a teaspoon of water. Bitch, who the fuck is drowning on a teaspoon of fucking water? Who the, you can choke off a teaspoon of water. You can fucking, you can lose your damn breath. But bitch, ain't nobody fucking drowning off a goddamn teaspoon of fucking water. I get so fucking tired of the goddamn same man fact checking ass bitches that got the same internet connection as me typing in shit and pulling shit up and thinking they know something, bitch. Google the goddamn word of drowning first before you come for me, motherfucker. And let's get this clear. Bitch, when I get through doing this video and it's uploaded, I will probably be in the goddamn bed or Fixing fucking dinner or getting ready to watch a damn episode of Bring It or something else. So don't think just because I upload this video. Yeah, I got him mad, girl. Yes, for a quick second, honey. For a quick second so we can talk about this dumb ass shit. Because I'm going to bring awareness to this because this doesn't make any sense. All you goddamn queens. Let me stop. I'm not going to call queens. I'm not going to use the derogatory ass words. Because I've been called a faggot by two gay people. On my YouTube channel. That's why I really don't. That's why I really don't fuck with some of y'all asses. I, I really don't fuck with y'all because y'all just full of shit, okay? Y'all got all these other famous vloggers and shit and motherfuckers who live in Atlanta who actually probably knew what happened but so busy recording other dumb, petty-ass, silly-ass shit that they don't even bring attention to the real shit, okay? And you catch that damn ticket. I'm not saying no goddamn names. Bitch, add one plus one and get number two, honey. Dos, okay? But... I talked to um, Henry's friend slash brother yesterday, and he cleared some stuff up with me. His story does sound a little shaky, and, it, and, my, and me and my friend were on the phone, and I listened. Some of the stuff didn't make any sense. He said he was not there. He did not. He was not there after the incident happened. Um, he said he was on the phone with 911. And he hung up on 911 because the woman was asking too much information. 
I, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And I want to talk about this because I don't want it to ever happen again. You never hang up on 911. Never. You never. I don't give a damn how many questions they're asking. Asking. I don't. I don't care how you don't think they. They don't think you're the concern. How how you think they're not concerned? They have to be calm. Nobody likes. You can't work in chaos. It's not going to happen. They have to. Most 911 trainers are train. It takes them two to two or more years before they can take a call by themselves unsupervised. So. I'm not understanding how many, so many people were in the spot. No one on CPR. That's what I, if I hope they saying that, you know, he was giving CPR, but it was too late. Then they saying that he was underwater for 15 minutes. Then somebody said they bumped their head and he didn't want to come back. All these stories, I'm just giving you what the stories are because I don't know what it is. But I know if I keep talking about it, somebody's going to hear about it and tell me the truth. It takes more. I want to hear the truth. I don't want to hear about... Well, you need to get the facts right because if I wait for the facts to come out, there would be no purpose of me doing a video because we will never, we won't get the shit. Okay, I'm I'm not CNN. Okay, I don't have money to take my ass to fucking Atlanta and interview it. I would like to. Okay, I would like to discuss this type of shit because I think we need to have some kind of unity, and it's not making any sense. It's just them against them, and we're all the same people going through the same suffering. I, I I'm just not understanding. So, I'm talking to um, the guy last night, Demetrius, yesterday. Talked to him for a minute last night. He did, you know, he did, he told some stuff, but some of the stuff just did not make sense. I don't know if, he, if he's still in shock from losing his friend, but he was just saying that um, they went down there. And his mother did come down there before he had left, so let's clear that up. But, Demetrius, you still went out that night. Me being that me being the person I am, everybody reacts different. I would have went out, period. I would have, my, my friend said, me and the mother would have been grieving together. But Demetrius, you know, from his defense, he said he couldn't do it. He couldn't put up with it. But, Demetrius, the optics of it does not look good for you to be out. It does not. You should have never said that you, you, you at the jungle or going out. You should have never said that because it doesn't. People seeing that and they and they seeing like them saying the optics does not look good. You should have some shit does not need to be on social media. You need to keep some of that stuff to yourself. Um, like I said, they did say he was some. Um, they said it was some drugs. They don't know somebody put something in his drink or he he possibly could have took some took a pill or something. And 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 Dimitri was saying he's never seen him drink before. He never smoked. But from what I've seen on Facebook, the guy has said that he was turned up and he had a hangover from the night before. So everybody, there's one, there's two sides. It's the lie and it's the truth. Okay? It's, two, it's the lie and then it's the damn truth. I want to know the truth because I feel like everybody is leaving that one part out because they might have something they might want to get blamed for. It. But I'm telling you, if you're watching my video right now, I'm encouraging you to get in contact with the Atlanta Police Department. I don't care because you never know. This could have been your friend. This could have been your friend. This could have been your brother. This could have been your boyfriend. This could have been anybody that just because you don't know this man, young man personally, does not mean you cannot. You don't have. To, you're, you you can't do the right thing. You need to call the Atlanta Police Department and you need to tell them any little information will clear it up because you have so many pieces of the puzzle it doesn't matter how little what you've seen tell the Atlanta police what happened they're saying in this rule of homicide I don't understand how that's rule of homicide because that means that somebody did they did an autopsy or they did they find it how did they I'm not I, I don't know all this kind of stuff and I'm, I'm not an expert with this type of shit all I know is I want some type of justice and I want somebody to tell me the whole story if you know or have any information I don't want you to too much tell me I don't want you to tell me. I'd rather for you to call the police department. I'm not getting anything off of doing this video instead of spilling the tea on this because it's not tea. This is someone's life. Okay, this is someone's life who is not with us anymore. And we we want I know the family will like answers. I've not spoken with the family. I don't know the family personally. But I'm pretty sure a mother would like to know what happened to her son. Okay, I'm pretty sure a father will want to know what, and cousins and brothers and sisters would like to know what happened. If he did take some drugs, let them let them know. So this can be a learning lesson for some of us because we, some of us, do have a problem with prescription drugs and drugs. Period. Some of us. I'm not saying this might happen to him, or I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying this this happened to him, but it might have. We don't know. We don't. We don't have all of the answers. Okay. So. 
if that is, we need to talk about taking drugs. Some of, some of our parents, some people in the list need to talk to their kids and talk to their loved ones about taking drugs. I'm not taking any drug from anyone who did not go to school and didn't get a degree from it. Okay, at least these people who got the degree and, and the certification for it, at least I can take their ass to court and sue their ass. Uh, somebody can be held responsible versus somebody I don't know. I don't have none of their information. We need to kind of stop with that. The whole drug. Shouldn't nobody be popping pills. It should not come to that. And pills and alcohol do not mix. P pills, drugs, and alcohol do not mix. Period. I don't think some people understand. And seeing how this. Seeing how tall he is and how young he is. His body probably, he's probably, he's not used to it. Either way, if he was laced, the drug, if he, the weed was laced, somebody popped something in his drink or he popped it. He was, he was, he was athletic bill, but he was tall and he was slim. So that drug was burning through him fast. Fast. It was burning through him fast. And he, it, it, it probably had him dazed and confused. It, it probably had him dazed and confused because when I talked to one of my friends and I'm not, because I know the fact check is going to come out, honey. They go, I don't know, I don't know. Your fact checking ain't helping. If you know something, take your ass and call Atlanta Police Department. Don't be coming and telling me on my Facebook. Don't come in and telling, um, comment on my video or anything telling me what happened. Call Atlanta Police Department. If you know anything, if your ass was there, I don't want to hear your gossip. I want you to tell what you heard to Atlanta Police Department because you come in and gonna do no type of justice. It's not gonna do shit. Okay. So, we need to find out we, what happened. We need to find out what happened. And I think it's funny how some people are saying, well, we can't be rushed to judgment. We can't say this because we don't know what happened. We don't know all the facts. But the same breath, some of you all convicted a police officer in public opinion for killing an unarmed black teen, and we don't know all the facts. I'm not saying that the man did do it. I'm not saying he did not do it. But we've not got all the facts. And just because he didn't, we don't see his police report and all that, doesn't mean it's a cover-up type of shit. You see where I'm going with this? It's just like, we pick and choose what we want to say. We can't rush to the facts. We can't rush to this. We can't rush without, without, without knowing all the facts. But we were rushed to judgment and convicting Derrick Wilson, and we don't even know his side of the story. Let the, let the court handle the process and get on so we can find the answers because all the shit we've seen on the news is not going to be shown in the damn courtroom trust and believe me it's some stuff that the news knows about what happened but they're not going to report on it because they can't verify it and the police department probably told them not talking not to talk about it. we probably have witnesses that saw a different side of the story but too scared to be to speak out because of their, their fear of their own life Take it how you want it. Let me tell you something. If you don't like what I'm saying, you pissed off and you press, baby, press that, press that dislike button and click off my video and move on. I'm not here for this always coming and going back and forth. Bitch, I am 27 years old. I'm not finna argue with your ass on some type. And then two of the motherfuckers I got into it with today, both of their ass got damn, got damn, got, I can't even get the shit, got fucking degrees from two colleges, two nice colleges. One in Memphis and another one, I think Washington State or Washington, um, I don't know, some school. So it just it just tell you that education means something, but sometimes motherfucker could be real stupid. You can pay for school, but you can't buy class. Okay, so let them Buddhists touch and agree with your spirit. That's all I got. Um, like I said, my condolences out to the family. I hope everything is situated. But we all we have to be more careful when we're going out with people that we don't know. I don't care what you do if you how. What you got going on? Let somebody know where you're going. Never go out of town on your last damn dime. That's some shit I need to talk about. Never take your ass out of town or anywhere with on your last goddamn dime. Because it does not make any sense. Anything can happen. And we talked about this last year with the damn trip. Going to, um, where they go, the Bumito Triangle or whatever the hell they went. They they went. I can't think of what it was. That the Inferno Dr. went down there. Motherfuckers only had the money they spent on the shit. Only had about fifty hundred dollars. Could and and was just shit out of luck. You don't go anywhere on your last damn. If you, if you if it's your last and you don't have any more money just in case you don't make it home tonight, you need to stay your ass home and make love to you to your damn bank account. 
Because the shit ain't making no sense. Never go anywhere on your last goddamn dollar. My mama always told you that. You, if you got a penny pinch, your ass don't need to be there. You need to be at the house trying to figure out how you can get your pennies to some quarters and take them hoes to Cornstar and turn in and get some more money. But that's all I got. I'm not going to spend no much, too much time on this. I appreciate you all for listening. I appreciate you all for taking the people who are um, listening and sharing the video and trying to figure out what happened and, and wish the best for them. Because I think a lot of people just won't mess and they just want to gossip about this situation. It's, and it's really terrible and it's really, really sad. Um, I love y'all so much and that's all I got. And I will keep y'all updated the best way I can. Love y'all so much and I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. Bye.